You know, I'm pretty sure if you take Ethan out, Luke's not going to want to be your friend anymore. And you don't have that many friends. I'm just saying. I asked Ethan to come over to my house, and I said to him, stay away from Christina. You're too old. You're married. You know what he said? What? No. no. So he disrespected me. So what do you expect me to do? He disrespected you? Yeah. Who yeah. cares if he disrespected you? I care that he disrespects our daughter. I care that she disrespects herself. You better figure out a way to get this plane moving faster before you become a grandpa. That's not helping, though comments like grandpa. Okay. I'm sorry. No, yeah. All right, if she, if she gets married, what? I'll just have it annulled. I'm a lawyer. Okay, I'm not going to let Ethan off the hook that easy. Will you stop with the mobster stuff? You know, you can't do anything to Ethan because there's repercussions. Well, I paid Diane a lot of money. Oh, blah, 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 blah. What about Luke? He's already hanging on I, the edge I, right now. He needs a friend. I had been there for Luke. I went to the intervention. It's pretty clear that he doesn't want to save himself. Okay, so what are you going to do? You're going to take Ethan out and send Luke over the edge? Hey, hey, Luke seems to want to self-destruct, and apparently his son does also. Otherwise, he wouldn't, you know, be helping himself to my daughter. Well, so much for the quickie divorce. The judge handing my paperwork can't sign off on it until this afternoon. We have to spend a whole other day at the beach? It's tragic. It will be for me if I don't get you home soon. This isn't about my dad. You're afraid that you might actually have to put your money where your mouth is. Mm-hmm. Paddle boarding? You talked a pretty good game yesterday about how you could beat me in a race around the pier. Oh, I could beat you blindfolded. Is that a challenge? Unless you're too hungover. What are the stakes? Loser has to streak through the hotel lobby. Uh, it's not often that someone else is the bad influence. Is that a yes? That's a death wish, considering your father's line of work, yeah. Well, life is short. May as well live it up while we can. Oh, don't you dare twist my words against me. How can I refuse? Jason would never hurt my dad. I think you underestimate his grief. First of all, he would never want to put Lucky through any more pain than he's already in. And most importantly, Jake's death was an accident. Carly and Sonny and Robin were all on the road that night. Any of them could have easily hit him, and, and do you think he would want revenge? No, this is the same situation. Maybe, but Luke doesn't exactly seem to be wringing his hands over what happened. What is that supposed to mean? I'm just saying he doesn't seem all that sorry. Lucky's son is dead. You think my dad doesn't feel bad about that? Why do you think he's drinking all the time? Why do you think he took off? This whole situation is destroying my family. My dad is never going to forgive himself for this. Then why would you want him to come back to Port Charles? Could you imagine how hard it would be for your dad to see Lucky and Elizabeth every day, knowing the void that he left in their lives? No, I think for Luke's sake, it's better if he just stays gone. Ooh. Wow. The minute Anthony got out of prison, bodies started showing up all over town. Do you think that's some kind of coincidence? Well, listen, I told you to let the police handle Anthony. A lot of good that did. Right? You think you think starting a war, Michael's not going to be in the middle of this well, Michael thing? understands the situation now. What does that even mean? Is that code for Michael's going to stay out of it? I, Jason, I can't look the other way. You guys are going to be doing my job for me if this thing escalates. You're going to be making hits on each other's territory. Someone's going to leave a piece of evidence behind. I'm probably going to be able to blow up both organizations. You know, if you have any more questions, you should call Diane, like look, I look, said. This, this war, it's not inevitable. Jason, you can walk away from this thing. But that would defeat the purpose, right? But I know you're going through a lot and you have a lot of pain and, and maybe this is your way of dealing with it by starting this thing with Anthony. I didn't I don't start know. this. But you can stop it. Now, whatever you decide to do, just let's hope Michael doesn't get hurt. Kid, I wanted to be just like my dad. <laughs> and uh, then when I got older, the pedestal I had him on came crashing down, and I wanted to be anyone except him. Is that why you became a cop? I don't know. Probably, on some level. 
I mean, I resented him for a lot of different things, including how he would just take off whenever life became too mundane. And maybe if I would have tried harder to understand what he'd been through and where he came from, it could have saved us a lot of pain. Well, children, they, they, they push away from their parents. It's, it's part of growing up. I know. And my dad had to grow up faster than most people. And with a role model like Tim Spencer, it would have been so easy for him to just check out on his own kids. But he never did. It was just the opposite. And I never doubted that my father loved me. Of course he loves you. If he didn't, Jake's death, it wouldn't be taking such a toll on him. Yeah. I know that he's a good man. I'm just not sure how to get him to believe it. What happened to you being Lulu's rock, the person who is supposed to support her when her entire world is falling apart? What are you talking about? Lulu knows I'm there for her. Yeah, well, we're women. We like gestures. Well, she doesn't accept help or advice, especially when it comes to her father. Lulu has turned her entire life upside down, not to mention mine, with this mistaken belief that she could fix up the haunted star, Luke's gonna come home, and everything's gonna be okay. That has to concern you. Yeah, of course it does, but what do you want me to do? She was well on her way to realizing that her job is not to solve all Luke's problems, and then Lucky goes and says he's gonna find them. Well, hello, why didn't you stop him? Because well, I'm not gonna tell Lulu or Lucky how to deal with their father. You're supposed to be the guy that loves her. I do love her. I love her enough to let her make her own choices. That's crap. Okay. Lulu is circling the drain and you're just standing by watching. You need to do something to pull her out. Like what, Maxie? It's time to get creative. Hi, sorry for stopping by like this. Oh, can I, uh, get you something? Some coffee or some water? <clears throat> no, I'm fine. You don't, you don't look fine. Uh, I haven't been sleeping a lot lately. So. Uh, maybe you could uh, go for a drive. You know, getting on the road always helps me clear my head. Thinking about him a lot? Yeah, all the time. I'm sorry you didn't get to know him better. Is there uh, something you need? Um, have you heard from Lucky? No, why? What happened? He's gone to find my dad. Maybe your dad doesn't want to be found. He took off from rehab because we forced him there, and uh, it was a mistake. So when Lucky brings him back, I think it would be best if you just stayed away from him. I don't want anything to do with him. He didn't deliberately set out to hit Jake. Could have been anybody. Luke was drinking. Whether the drinking affected his driving that night, he still wouldn't have seen Jake in the road because Lulu, it was... Lulu, I understand if you have to make excuses for your father, but it doesn't change what happened. He killed Jake. And you want to kill him as payback? That's what this is about. Just say it. Damn it. Say that you want my dad dead. 